Hey, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So maybe you've wanted to rig something before, but you don't really know much about rigging. It just takes too long. Well, there's something really awesome in Blender. Um, it's called the Rigify system. And you can see I've rigged this character here in literally just minutes. Um, so what you do is you'll, you'll come here. I'll show you guys in detail in the tutorial, but you'll just essentially add a rig. You'll kind of pose it, and then you're gonna go and hit generate. It's gonna generate this awesome um, control system and you just parent it to the model and then you know you, you pretty much it does all the work for you so if that's what you're looking for you know not much of a rigor you just want to be able to use a tool that kind of does it for you well this is the video for you so we're going to get right into that and I'm going to be providing a model in the description below it's one of my own it's on blend swap you can use it in any project you want, it's CC0, so go ahead, download it. If you don't wanna use this one, use whichever one you want, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so with the scene that you've downloaded now open or any character of your choice, first of all, we're just gonna make sure we have our human meta rig system enabled. So go to edit, preferences, and just go to your search on the add-ons. Just go search and type in rig. And you can see I've already done this. It's called Rigging, Rigify, and I've enabled it. So if it's not, just hit the tick, and that should be done. And then close here. And if you were to go Shift-A now and look at Armature, you're gonna see there's some more settings besides just single bone. So the one we're gonna be doing is the basic human meta rig. So first of all, just make sure your character is nice and in the center of your world space on both views, front and right of the graphic. And make sure that your um, 3D um, cursor is in the center, so shift S, cursor to world origin, just make sure, it's always important. And it also helps if your character is nice and symmetrical. I use the mirror modifier for this model, so it is nice and symmetrical. And with those things done, what we can do is go shift A, armature, and we're gonna go, instead of using our human meta rig, which is the one that has a lot of um, more operators and bones and things, what we're gonna do is do the basic because that's what this tutorial is about. So go to Armature, Basic, and we're gonna to go to Basic Human Meta Rig. And at the front view, you can see my character isn't quite as big as the rig, so I'm gonna actually just size the rig up instead of sizing up the character. So I'm gonna size it roughly to about here. And to make things a little bit easier, if we go to our, uh, click on this tab here and go to Viewport Display. Um, so not this one, if we go to the Rig and Viewport Display, we can go and enable in front. And it's gonna kind of make this rig um, see-through. So it's gonna be prioritized in the viewport and you're gonna see it above anything else. So with that done, we can now, um, first of all, apply the scale. So once you have it roughly where you want it, and this is one of the most important things you can do is apply the scale. So control A and apply scale. If you don't apply the scale, it's gonna seriously mess up um, things when we um, start generating the rig. So make sure you apply the scale. Shift A, apply scale. With that done, we're now rig, meta rig selected. We can go to object, edit mode, and we can now have our in front enabled so we can see what we're doing. We can now start moving these bones around. Now to make things easier and to save us some time, instead of moving one side and then coming back and doing the other side, we can enable something to make um, it do both sides at the same time. So if you go here to tools, you're gonna see under options, something called X-axis mirror. So let's enable X-axis mirror. That will mean if I grab this bone here on the right, and I move it, the same thing gets done on the other side. This is just gonna save us time. And anything that can save us time in 3D graphics is useful, especially if we have a lot of projects. So we're gonna start by coming down here, selecting these bones and hitting G and just moving them to the side. I'm gonna select this knee bone, move it roughly here to where the knee is. Select the hip here, move it to about there. Grab this guy, move it there. Grab this one, move it there. This one here, and then I'm just moving all of these roughly to where they should be. Grab the hand, put that one there where the wrist and the hand intersect. Grab this tip here and put it here to the end of the hand. Then we're gonna go to our top orthographic view here. We're just gonna do the same thing, move this one back, move this one more in the middle. And all we're doing is just putting it inside the character. We're gonna grab these chest bones, and if you're using a different character, by the way, your way you place things might be a bit different. So just kind of use common sense and 
think about where things should be. So you could, this obviously needs to be in a bit more. And the same with the neck bones here. The head bone should start a little bit lower. So move this one down to here, move this one here. And then all you can see is I'm just basically, just kind of like a skeleton, if you, you picture a human skeleton. So you can think for yourself, this is the head bone, and these are the bones that make up the neck. And then obviously these ones here are the chest bones. And um, you can do the same thing here with the hips. I think that they're forward a little bit too much. So I'm gonna grab the tip here, go G, just move it to the back a little bit like that. And then on our right orthographic view, I can grab the foot bones here. Now I just move them back. Um, so I'm gonna grab this one here in the middle and just move it more into the middle of the foot. Grab this one, bring it down a bit more. Grab the this one, move it more to where the, the um, ankle is. So if you go between the front and the side views, you can kind of line it up. And also the same here with the knee. So put that roughly where the knee is. And you can see here, our rig is kind of starting to be in place now. And if we turn off under our um, viewport display, if we turn off in front, we can see that the bones are now nicely embedded inside of our character. So I'm just gonna turn it on again and just double check. It doesn't hurt to check before you go ahead and generate your rig. Maybe move this one here. Just making sure. Okay, I'm very happy with this at the moment. And um, you guys are welcome to refine it as much as you want, but I'm gonna go with that for now. So I'm gonna go back into object mode, go to my front view, and this is where things get cool. And just one more time before we go any further, just make sure you apply the scale. And I know I do that quite a few times, but it's very important. So just make sure, 100% sure you apply the scale. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. And then you're gonna go to uh, under our um, armature. If we go to rigify button, Okay, it's gonna be an option here called Generate Rig. So click on that, and Blender's gonna have a very quick think about it, and it's now generated this rig, okay? And what we wanna do is go ahead and select this original one that we had, okay, that we generated the meta rig, this, this setup from. So you wanna select this guy, and you wanna move it to another layer or hide it, so I'm just gonna hit H to hide it. And then we're gonna select our rig here, we're gonna to go to our pose mode and under our armature settings, under a skeleton, what we wanna do is hit A. We can see all of these bones here on these layers are selected and we're gonna hit H to hide them while we're in pose mode. And then we're gonna, holding in shift, hit this button here in the end, okay? And what this has done now, if we just hit in front under viewport display, we can see it has um, revealed these bones. Now all of those controllers that we just hit are controlling these bones, okay? So with that done, and those other controllers temporarily hidden, what we're gonna do is go back into object mode. We're gonna select our model, and then holding in shift, we're gonna select the armature, okay? And then what we're gonna do is go sh control P, and we're gonna set set parent to automatic weights. And Blender's gonna have a think about it. And now if we grab this and we go G and just move it around, we should see our character is now parented and weighted to the rig. So with this rig selected, we're gonna to go to our pose mode again. We're gonna hold shift in and click on this little tab down here in the, the right bottom corner to hide that. And then with all of these still selected here, we're gonna go Alt H and that's gonna unhide all of our controllers. And if we now grab our controllers here, we should have it working. So you can see if I move my controller, I can see here, I'm able to rotate the hand and move it. I can kind of grab these guys here. And it's just really, really awesome um, a very useful tool inside of Blender. You can rotate the head, and I can go in a lot of detail probably about how this works, but I'm not gonna do too much here, but I'll quickly show you some basics. So if you select, like for example, these hand control controllers or foot controllers, you can usually go into your, um, if you just hit your N, your N key to open up these properties on the side, and you go to view, you should be able to go down and 
um, item. Yeah, sorry, if you click on item, you should be able to see rig layers and you should also be able to say rig main properties and you can kind of like slide these IK and FK sliders and that's just gonna determine how much um, control this IK has. Like it's it's kind of variating between, it's a bit tricky to explain, but like if I, if I put it all the way to one, it's back to where it was in a rig and if I bring it cl closer to zero, it's gonna favor this controller here. And that's a very useful tool when you're doing animation. Um, so let's just put it back to where it was, move it in. And it's the exact same with the foot control. So I grab the foot control here and I move it up. I can also come here and slide this for a bit of um, more animation control. So let's just leave that where it is. I can move this around. You can grab this box here. You can go just double tap R to kind of rotate the body. It's a very, very powerful tool. And um, like I said, it's just got it all built in for you. You don't have to be a professional rigger at all or know much about rigging to be able to do this. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, uh, that you've learned something. If you did, please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me a lot when you guys subscribe and um, check out some of my other content and I'll be um, making more videos.